the debt of thousands of student loan borrowers is being canceled. The Biden administration announced 40,000 borrowers would see their student loans become eligible for discharge and another 3.6 million will move closer toward forgiveness. This after a review by the Federal Student Aid Office found what is being called administrative failures on the part of companies that service federal student loans. The Education Department said some loan servicers were putting borrowers facing financial difficulties into forbearance in violation of regulations rather than lowering their payments. On top of that, the review found that some loan servicers weren't properly recording borrower payments that could be counted toward public service loan forgiveness. Atlantic City's municipal workers will get raises under a new budget proposed for the city, which will also include a lower municipal property tax rate. According to Press of Atlantic City, Mayor Marty Small says the $218 million budget will include higher pay for city workers starting on July 1st with another raise to follow in January. Small says the city has been losing some workers to other communities which offer higher salaries. The city's budget must be approved by the State Department of Community Affairs under the state takeover legislation. Hospitals and health care facilities around the state learned a lot after COVID-19, and they continue to innovate. At an event today, Mark Sparta, the president and chief health executive of Hackensack University Medical Center, said when the hospital was filled with COVID patients, it became clear that those in the ICU needed to be close to a CT scanner. Moving these seriously ill, critically ill patients throughout the facility on ventilators and other life support systems is not the best way to care for patients. For a patient to be, be, to be moved is not only unsettling, but it also exposes them to potentially other infectious materials and also risks them losing their dignity as they move through the hallways in their darkest days. At today's press conference, Congressman Josh Gottheimer announced he has secured $775,000 for a new CT scanner for the hospital. Now, let's take a look at today's trading on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories.